Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and in this video I want to show you how you can create a text portrait in GIMP. Now to create a text portrait, what you will need is an image with a transparent background. So as you can see, I have this image of Christian Bale with me and the background is transparent. And now we can go ahead with our tutorial. So the first thing which you need to do to create a text portrait is create a new layer with a white background. So click on this option right here, which says create a new layer and add it to the image. And um, let the layer name, let the layer name be layer and let the fill width be white. Click on OK. Now, as you can see, a new layer with a white background has been created. Now drag this layer below the main image layer. Now click on the main image layer and create a duplicate of this main image layer. So click on this option right here, which says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And as you can see, I've successfully created a duplicate image layer from my main image layer. Now click on the duplicate image layer, which you created and go to colors. Then select this option right here, which says threshold. Um, let the value be 127 and simply click on OK. Now turn off the visibility of the duplicate image layer and click on the main image layer. Right click on the main image layer and select this option right here which says alpha to selection. So what I really want to do is I want to put the black color inside my selection. And so to do that, let me just click on my foreground color and set my foreground color to black. Now let me just go to edit and fill with foreground color. Perfect. Now let me just go to select and click on none. Now what you really need to do is turn off the visibility of the main image layer as well. And now you need to insert a text object on top of the image. So select the text tool from the toolbox and mark the text object on top of the image like this. And um, we need specific font color and specific font for the text portrait um, to appear authentic. So let the font be agency FB bold condensed and let the font size be 15. Let the font color be something dark blue. So I have an HTML notation with me. Put on the HTML notation uh, inside this text box. So the HTML notation is 052 CBE and put this HTML notation in this text box and click on OK. Also, another thing which you need to do is as you can see, the adjust line spacing is set to negative eight. So inside the adjust line spacing, this text box set the value to negative eight minus eight. And now what you will be needing is some text to fill the uh, text box. So I have extracted some text from the Wikipedia page of Christian Bale. So let me just copy this text from notepad. And let me now paste it in my text object. So let me just press Ctrl V and keep pasting the text till the entire image is filled with this text. So let me just keep on pressing Ctrl V. Perfect. Now what you need to do is create a duplicate of this text layer right here. So select the text layer and click on this option right here, which says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And as you can see, I've successfully created a duplicate of my text layer. Now drag this duplicate text layer at the bottom. So let me just drag this duplicate text layer at the extreme bottom. Perfect. Now what you need to do is turn on the visibility of the top image layer right here. So turn on the visibility of this top top image layer and um, go to tools 
go to selection tools and select this tool by color select or select by color tool click on this option and uh, click on the black color and as you can see all the black color has been selected now go to select and click on this option right here which is called invert now simply click on this option right here which says delete this layer now click on this top layer which is the text layer and press delete in the keyboard and now as you can see our text portrait is kind of uh, beginning to take shape so let me just go to select and click on none now there are only couple of things remaining to do so the first thing which you need to do is turn off the visibility of this of this um, image layer and turn on the visibility of this second image layer and um, drag this duplicate text layer above this new layer which you created and uh, okay turn off the visibility of this layer as well and um, let's change the color of this text to something a little bit more white a little bit more uh, light uh, so that um, as i said the text portrait looks more authentic and visible so i have let me just select the text tool from the text box uh, from the toolbox and let me just select the entire text let me just change the color to something a little bit more white uh, light so i again have the html notation with me write this html notation in the text box right here so write the notation 7 a b d 9 6 and click on ok it will take some time to change the color of all this text perfect now what you need to do is turn on the visibility of this second layer and go to tools go to selection tools um, and select this option by color select click on the black color and go to select and click on invert now again simply click on this option which says delete this layer and now press the delete key on the keyboard perfect now go to select and none and uh, turn on the visibility of the top layer so that's it guys this is how you can create a text portrait the process is a little bit more complex but it's actually super easy if you just simply follow the steps um, i just want to uh, make a comparison of what we had and what we did so let me just again open this image in the editor so that it is clearly visible what we actually did so this was our original image and this is the text portrait of christian bale which we created so that's it guys do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching